Hey everybody, so this video is gonna be a little bit different than my norm. Today we're gonna to look at my top three favorite French cleat tool holders that I use in my shop. Now if you're interested in making any of these for yourself, I do have detailed engineering drawings available at my Etsy store. You can find a link to these designs in my description below. And if you like this video, I ask you to please consider subscribing. Thanks. So first and foremost, we're gonna look at this tool holder right here. Now this doesn't look like much, and that's kind of the beauty of it. It is pretty simple. Um, and this is my paper towel tool holder. So I know, I know, paper towels are not the sexiest thing, um, but this really comes in handy when you need it. To have this available and have your paper towels exactly where you need them at all times is really convenient. So the way this works is that I use this screw right here as a little handle or a locking mechanism so that I can turn this up and around. And so then I can just slide a paper towel on here over this dowel, slide this back down, do a couple screws in and you've got a paper towel holder for your shop. So in this thing, we've just got a couple rectangular pieces on either end a French cleat that goes along the back, another larger rectangle piece on the back there, and a one inch dowel that this can ride on. All right, so the next tool holder we're gonna look at is this guy right here. So this is a holder for all my clamps. So what I did here was I measured out different points and I drilled in about half inch holes and then used my jigsaw to come up and cut slots in there. There's a couple cleats on the back and a backing to make sure it has a little bit of support. And then all you have to do is take your clamps and slide them in and they hold in right there. Now the nice thing about this is I, it's really easy to just make a few extra slots so that it's expandable um, for the future. Now this again is also not the sexiest of products, but it really comes in handy because most of us, as you are probably well aware, have way too many clamps. And this just keeps things organized and keeps things where they're supposed to be when you need them. And that's really the, the benefit of your French cleat wall in general, is things are where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there, and you have easy and quick access to them. Now, lastly, we have my French cleat desk. Now, I don't know what I would do without this thing. Um, it's a pretty simple build. We've got some right angle triangles with a 45 degree angle. You can really cut it to whatever angle that is most convenient for you. Uh, you got a French cleat on the back, a back support piece, and then the front. So over on the left hand side here, um, I've drilled a th few holes for pencils and I've got a little lip for my pencil sharpener. On the right hand side here, I've got a space for my trusty TI-84 calculator. Now I understand this is really meant for a left hander. So if you end up getting these designs or you want to mimic this, it's really easy to swap these two. So the way these are put on here, if we look at the back, is that these are individual pieces that are just screwed in to the main front platform. So it's really easy just to install these on opposite sides for those of you that are right-handed, which I believe is most of you. Then in the front here, we have a lip where I usually keep a clipboard um, and some graph paper so I can take notes, sketch drawings out, um, or write down any dimensions that I may need. Now along with this, I'm gonna give a bonus French cleat holder that I truly adore. Now you can get this design as well, but I wanna forewarn you that there's gonna be a couple issues with it and not to take it as law when you look at this design online. So what this is, is it's basically just a three quarter inch piece of plywood that has the depth of an iPad routed out, um, as well as a notch here and a little divot for the power button. But then this can just slip in here and holds itself in by friction and you've got a iPad monitor. Now this usually sits right on top of my 
uh, French cleat desk in case I need to be able to look at up anything um, or look up a calculation um, or any sort of research needed. It also controls my Bluetooth headphones. But what I want to be very clear about is the design. This is held in by friction. So really the best way to do this is to trace out your iPad and then to slowly route out the center and take shorter and shorter passes until this just fits snugly in. Now you could put a screw in a thin piece to latch this on, um, but I found that friction works perfectly fine. So these are the French cleat holders that I use probably more than any other in my entire shop. But if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I have a lot more. And if you want to see details on any others, please let me know which ones in the comments down below. Thanks.